Good evening guys and happy Monday to all of your sunshiny faces. I'm gonna take a shower and get to bed guys, but um yeah, Monday, it was one of those Mondays. <laughs> it's just I woke up late, even though I tried to be really good and go to bed early. I think I was just super 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 tired and exhausted from the weekend and like again too like I got I did so much on Friday and then like I feel like I actually slept well ish sort of on Friday night but I slept in kind of on Saturday but then I ended up staying up late really late on Saturday night and went to bed like uh, and woke up really early though yesterday to go to the grocery stores and so then I went to bed early last night but then ended up sleeping in because like even though like I said like Friday night wasn't all too bad I didn't stay up I stayed up still kind of late though I think on Friday night but I, I woke up late but my sleep was just super super off because that's so, like today I woke up late even though I was telling you guys yesterday I was like I was trying to you know like go to bed early and stuff like that and so I could get up and I couldn't it was just I slept through like everything alarms and all kinds of stuff so anyways though um I did get to some things though today like I ended up making mac and cheese for dinner tonight um like homemade from scratch mac and cheese um which is always the good stuff and I'll be honest guys but the thing is I'm trying to perfect my mac and cheese recipe and so I ended up adding in a little extra secret ingredient and I actually think it made it taste so good, which maybe at some point I'll share with you guys. But um, I I actually wanted to add something else. I didn't have it. And then I was like, you know, maybe I'll try this. And I ended up adding it and it was good. It was actually because I was thinking about how I make my potatoes, my like mashed potatoes. I don't have to add cheese to my mashed potatoes, but I was just thinking, I was like, normally to get really good creamy mashed potatoes, this is what I add. And so I was like, maybe if I do that to the mac and cheese, it'll like still, and it'll bring out the flavor maybe a little bit. Um, one thing that's not really my secret ingredient necessarily, I read about this online, of somebody that was asking, I think it was last year for Chris, or for Thanksgiving, somebody was like, I really need some help in what I should do for like, home style like mac and cheese and um like what is like you know what you know what's your recipe or what is your go-to like you know ingredients and stuff like that and somebody said to add mustard um like ground mustard to their um their mac and cheese to bring out like the flavor in the cheese and I ended up doing that and I've done that ever since and I've noticed I think it does add a difference to it and kind of brings out more of the like cheesy flavor kind of in the mac and cheese and it just complements it really well you can't like taste it it doesn't taste like you've added like mustard to <laughs> the mac and cheese it just the mustard like you know ground mustard like kind of brings out the cheesy taste in it and I think that that's really true so that's been my go-to like one of one of my other secret ingredients that I add um but I'll share that one with you guys because um that one was not necessarily one that I came up with and have been trying to perfect or use the right you know figure out what the ratio should be because once I get my mac and cheese recipe down like perfect the way that I really like it then I'm going to actually write down the recipe and how I do it so like I said as of right now it's been really good but the thing is too is that you really have to do because I've noticed this. The recipe I use calls for, and this is again too, like the recipe I use is to make like the base for the mac and cheese. Then I add my own extra stuff to it or different types of flavored of cheese or you know, whatever. But I've had this recipe that I've always used ever since like, since years and years ago. And like I said, it's just kind of make to make like the cheese sauce more than anything. And then like I said, I kind of add my own extra like like spices seasonings like that kind of stuff to it but the one thing I will say is that like you have to have when you're making like homemade mac and cheese and you're making like the cheese sauce for it you really have to use whole milk like whole milk is the thing that um like you can't use two percent you can't use skim it like it doesn't I don't know I don't want to say it doesn't thicken up but like it just doesn't really taste right um if you don't use whole milk and so I got that bottle of free whole milk um the organic whole milk from Tony's on Friday when we ended up going and um, it was just that little like 32 ounces and I needed two and a half cups so I had enough plus I have a little left over which is perfect so um I ended up using that though to make it and um like I said I because I think the last time I made it I didn't use whole milk I think the whole milk went bad so I ended up using just two percent and it did not taste the same like it really I think requires whole milk instead of two percent or like I said skim or like anything like that 
Now I've not tried to do it with heavy cream or even split it and do like heavy cream and like whole milk or like maybe like a portion of it be like heavy cream like a half of a cup or something like that because um, I feel like that would maybe also bring out maybe a little bit of the flavor too and like you know taste I don't know maybe cheesy or something like that but I also don't know if it would make it like curdle kind of too if it's whole like like um uh, like what's it called heavy cream so I don't know I kind of want to play with that too and like test it out because like mac and cheese is the only thing right now that I like again too when I make recipes I'll just be like you know I know what to add kind of to things and I know like okay like spices seasonings like that kind of stuff just to kind of like sort of make things taste better but um I don't know maybe because I like mac and cheese so much and because like it's something that I can eat too because like if I'm seasoning like a roast or something like that I don't eat it so I don't necessarily know but like I know what to add to it you know again in like the way that I make my own food to be like ah oh, it should have this or it should have that or like like something that should be more spicy or something you know like I know what seasons seasonings and spices to kind of add to that anyway and again too some of the times I just follow a recipe and I don't try and go out of my way to like personalize it if that makes sense I'll just do whatever the recipe said um but again too like sometimes if I'm like oh like I should add a little extra of this or a little extra of that or you know whatever like um I should add time to this because it's you know like you would do that to like you know certain things or something like that even if the recipe doesn't specifically call for it I might end up adding some of that stuff especially if we have like fresh um like again to like basil and you know like that kind of stuff so again like sometimes I'll add that stuff and I do the same thing too with that um which it's actually boxed which I could probably figure out a way to make it myself that's pretty much the exact same thing <laughs> but making pasta salad I use the Betty Crocker like suddenly salad pasta box pasta mixes um but again too I could I could do it really without it I just have to make my own seasoning for it um but I still end up adding my own seasonings like I add fresh basil to it I will add extra you know like I add tomatoes I add sometimes I'll add cheese like you know so I kind of customize it anyway to like my liking um it's just the convenience of having the seasonings already done that so that I don't have to measure everything out and like try and get it perfect you know that kind of thing it's just like I'm supposed to add I think you add like two tablespoons of like like uh oil and like then a couple tablespoons of water or something like that um to it and then you just mix it up with a little seasoning packet this in there you cook the pasta and then you you know that that could be it that's how you could serve it but like I said I like to add extra stuff to mine um but with my like I said with my mac and cheese it's like I'm getting to the point too where I'm like trying to perfect that also and being like what else can I add to this what else can I add to that like I ended up kind of making my own like um kind of like a Tex-Mex taco casserole kind of thing um it was originally started from one recipe I found on Pinterest and I've slowly started adding more and more ingredients because it was just the super basic it was like I think it was corn and beans and cheese and like that was it and maybe it had rice in it I don't even remember all I know is I added I started adding rice to it then I add salsa then I added fresh tomatoes then I added like you know cheese my favorites like out of all all the spices and seasonings I think my favorites cumin um I love cumin <laughs> so I add that to it I will add a little bit of chili powder to it um like I and then end up adding um like guacamole salsa over the top and I'll add regular avocado over the top too um and I add corn and like I said it was like corn black beans and like cheese and I think that was what it was it was just supposed to be like not even like a dip but it was just kind of like super super basic and like I said I found the recipe online on Pinterest and I was like oh this seems like okay maybe I'll try it out because I think it was probably what I had I, you know available to me so I was like I'll just add corn and cheese and beans and then bake it in the oven until the you know the um like the the cheese was melted or whatever and I just kind of ate it like that was super simple recipe and I've like totally expanded upon it and ended up adding like all this other stuff like I said I will and depending on what I have too like there was one time where I had pico de gallo and I ended up adding that instead of the salsa and sometimes again too I will add especially when we have like cherry tomatoes that's what I like because I like having like roasted tomatoes in it um versus like the actual salsa but I like the spice of the salsa in it so like you know again there's certain ways and also too because the rice kind of sometimes gets a little dried out so having the salsa in there it like keeps it like moist still and then like I said I'll add like frozen corn I don't like to add canned corn because I feel like frozen corn 
cooks like cooks better I think because it's like not cooked and it's frozen already so it cooks better with like the other ingredients I don't know like I said it's just I'm very um like I like I said I kind of come up I don't want to say with my own recipes but like I, I customize stuff then and add other things to like oh this is kind of plain or you know this doesn't have a lot like you know again too or if it's just I happen to have the thing in the fridge and I'm like I need to use this up I'll be like oh I can just make this and add it to the recipe you know whatever um so like I said there's like situations like that too where again I'm like oh you know now my mac and cheese and I'm you know like I said there was the one ingredient I didn't have that I wanted to add and I ended up adding this other ingredient instead that I realized we had that was kind of substituted a little bit um which wasn't what was in the original recipe but I actually think it made it taste very flavorful today and like I said too I don't know if it was necessarily that or also the ground mustard that I put in but it did have a kind of like really good like flavor to it better than when I've made it before with just the ground mustard so um like I said and I would have never thought to add that but then like I said somebody suggested it in this like thread that people were asking about how to make really good mac and cheese and then like multiple people too had said that and I was like oh okay I'll try that out next time I make it and I did and I was like wow this is phenomenal. The one thing I did do this time which I normally do is I normally add cheese over the top and then when it roasts the cheese gets kind of like crispy or crunchy on the top um, and sometimes I'll even put it in the, the broiler. I just didn't feel like doing that today because I didn't have a ton of cheese left over um, and I didn't have a lot of extra like I didn't want to add like shredded cheese because I always buy brick cheese and then have jack shredded. <laughs> So it's shredded. But I don't use pre-shredded cheese, but I don't like to shred my own cheese. I make <laughs> make Jack do it um, because it's easier. Uh, just like I said, making him do it. I made him do it before he went to football practice so that I could make the mac and cheese while they were gone at football practice. So um, worked out. But like I said, I I don't. It doesn't melt as well if you use pre-shredded cheese because they put special stuff like the caking powder on it so that it doesn't stick together. Um, like when you buy pre-shredded cheese, so it doesn't melt as well. So that's why, again, too, I normally end up doing brick cheese, which I use two different varieties of brick cheese. I used, at least this time, I know for sure. Sometimes I will use anything that I have on hand, again, too. It just depends on what I want to make or how I want to make it or what we have or whatever. Um, but I ended up using Colby Jack and mild mozzarella or mild cheddar. Um, so that's what I used this time. And like I said, I thought it was very flavorful. So, um, and probably one of the better ones that, I, that I've made so far. But again, I think that, um, the, the, the secret ingredient now, I have two secret ingredients now that I think ended up making it taste really good. And like I said, very flavorful as well. So, um, and the other thing too I add, which isn't so much of a secret ingredient, I guess, is a little bit onion powder. Um, I think it adds a little bit extra taste to it as well. Um, so I ended up... That's like I normally do that. And I think, again, too, the, I don't know if the recipe I use actually calls for it or not. But I think it honestly just says season with salt and pepper. But I like to add other stuff to mine. So, um, anyways. And, again, too, it all ended up working out. Tastes good. It's, you know, like had the right consistency, too. It wasn't like, oh, it was really runny because of all this extra stuff. Or it wasn't like it was too thick, you know. It was like perfect consistency. So, it worked out. So, um, I guess, like I said, I've got a good mac and cheese recipe. But... Um, like I said, I'm still striving for like that perfect, that absolutely perfect one that I can finally like make on a note card and then pass down like five generations and they're still like making my mac and cheese. <laughs> So, um, like I said, I just, because I love mac and cheese and I like to, like I said, I like to customize things based on what I have or whatever. And, you know, and, and I like to play with it too. Like, I'm like, mm, maybe we'll try some of this in here this time. And again, too, if I thought, oh, it didn't taste very good with that, I might be like, I'm just not going to add it next time or whatever. So like I said, I'm kind of doing that with it as well and figuring out what I like the most. Cause I want to have a recipe that I just love and I can be like, I, I just always want to eat it like I would never be sick of it kind of thing and like I don't know like with the the basic recipe it kind of tastes a little boring especially compared to like the way I've had it now I like it more this way so anyways I'm gonna take a shower now and get to bed but I'll see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog if you guys did enjoy today's make sure you guys give the gold thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love if you'd subscribe and I'll see all of your some chainy faces tomorrow so bye guys